What's up, bro? Welcome to the 90s, man. What you doing around here? What you doing around here? I got these two obscure ass 90s hood cartoons pulled up for us. Hammer Man starring MC Hammer as a superhero and Kid and Play nondescript cartoon show. Like, subscribe, notification. Okay, look at this whack ass cartoon, bro. What the fuck? Hammer Man, Hammer, Hammer Man. Here's how it started a long time ago. It starts off with the worst theme song in cartoon history, y'all. They should be ashamed of themselves. Like, it's just a long ass exposition dump. It barely rhymes. It's got no type of flow to it. I can't believe how low effort this shit is. Who made this? Legend of the hammer and how it began to grow. He was given magical shoes from a hip hop Motown dude. Together they had power. They stood up for what was right. So Gramps and his granddaughter, they went out on the road Search to find a man they knew could jab who was worthy of the load. Gramps opened up the bag and took out the magical shoes. He set them on the ground. So he got magical shoes and became a hammer man? Like, how does that make sense? He should be the shoes man, right? What the fuck does a hammer have to do with anything? They never mentioned a hammer or tools or nothing. He should have had a magical hammer, actually. That would have been something, right? Do a Thor parody or whatever, whatever. This shit was never gonna work, what am I saying? So Hammer Man was an animated series that aired in 1991 on ABC. It went for 13 episodes until it thankfully got canceled. Thank you, Jesus. This was before I was even born. I didn't even know this shit existed until yesterday. Dick Entertainment. These niggas gay, bro. They try and pronounce it like it's not dick. It's clearly spelled dick, bro. Why would you name it that? That's always been hilarious to me. This animation is horrendous. I can't, can you even call this animation? It's like a slideshow. This is legit the worst I've ever seen as far as professional cartoons go, quote unquote. Look at this bullshit. Even before all that, they have these nightmare inducing ass live action parts. They live in this crudely drawn neighborhood. Like the kids are way too big to even fit in the damn houses. Anybody like graffiti? No. Now it can be good, but it's not right when you put it on other people's property. Mm. That's what the show is all about today. We kicking it off today. All right, kick it. This nigga just opened up a portal to hell? Where the hell are we? This shit's scary as fuck. Is that Miles from Moesha when he was a baby? That's wild, bro. Bro was everywhere. What are you doing in hell, man? He was a good kid, bro. So the library is randomly on fire and it's up to Hammerman to save this white lady. He taking his sweet ass time though. This nigga started dancing and shit. Like this is a serious situation, bro. This lady's about to die. You think it's funny, Hammerman? The fire is pumping and the flames are burning. The books get cooking, let me get the tables turning. Stop. Hamilton. Get out my house. He starts dancing again and his magical shoes make a water tower come to life and put out the fire? How in the fuck? What even are your powers, bro? This nigga broken. Put the librarian problem into effect mode. Get with the program down so I can finish the show. Hammerman saves the day. All the white ladies love him. Really? He transforms back into his secret identity, Stanley, which is literally just him with a white shirt on. At least Superman took off his damn glasses when fighting crime. This nigga kept on the glasses the whole time. It's a horrible secret identity. Also, his shoes talking, not like that where they busted up in the front. I mean, actually talking, they magical. It's two separate characters, by the way. Each shoe is its own character. That makes sense, I guess. But I could have done it without the shoes. You got that right. You guys are really kicking it. Well, it's bag time, boys. Uh, got any aces? You got any? Hey, get it out. What out? You were looking at my cards. What's that? What you get out my house. It was killer watching Hammerman fight that fire, Winnie. <laughs> you sure like him, don't you, Jody? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. This shit really looks like Newgrounds.com flash cartoons. Like 10 year old me could have made this shit by myself. They really thought kids was gonna enjoy this? 
that's disrespectful, bro. They really did not think highly of the kids or something. Speaking of the kids, Stanley works at the rec center, helping all the underprivileged kids. They're all unaware that he's secretly Hammer Man, by the way. Like, how the fuck do you not recognize this nigga? All he do is change shirts. Oh no, the plumbing's all messed up again. They don't even know I'm here. Jody, what's wrong? Trouble on the way. Don't paint today. Oh yeah. It's my tag. You wanna try? Oh, I don't know. That little graffiti sweetie is exactly what I, DeFacely Marmeister, have been looking for. <laughs> this nigga name what? DeFacely Marmeister? That's not even catchy at all. It sounds like he just made that shit up on the spot just now. Nobody was trying here with this show, man. Y'all didn't deserve a second season or a first one. I'm talking shit, but this nigga DeFacely Marmeister is high key hilarious. He's actually the best character. Lucky. It's time to earn that minimum wage salary of yours. <laughs> the Facely Marmeister goes up to this mushroom head little girl and he gives her a bunch of these free art supplies. He tells her she should express herself creatively and paint whatever she wants. What a piece of shit. What's the catch? No catch. I'm familiar with the mayor's office. The outside walls of all our banks and stores are so ugly. While this marvelous design of yours could turn every bank wall in town into a work of art. $100 to the children who paint this kind of design on bank walls all over the city. He keeps mentioning the bank walls and shit. It's like his number one priority. Do you owe the bank some money, bro? Is that what this whole cartoon is about? Did the IRS make you do this shit? That makes so much sense, bro. That makes so it all makes sense now. The Facely Marmeister just invented this new spray that brings drawings to life. The plan is to use all the kids' graffiti to turn into monsters and steal some money so he can be rich. Nigga, you just invented a spray can that gives sentient life. That's fucking groundbreaking. That's the greatest invention of all time. You don't have to steal money, bro. No one can stop the Facely Marmeister. Oak Town's money is mine! Yeah! Hey guys, let's hammer down. Huh? This is baloney. This pussy ass nigga burn a fucking sandwich. Why the fuck you eat a Stanley's shoes mysteriously vanish. He switched the bags or left the bags or something. Whatever, I don't know. He comes up with another plan to just call the police and snitch on the bad guys right in front of their face. You're a terrible superhero. What's wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Hello? Police? Yo, get over here quick. Yeah, there's a guy trying to rob the entire city. He's bringing all the graffiti to life. You said being in the city doing all that rapping. Right ass. The Facely Marmeister invented another magical spray that can turn people into graffiti. He calls it the remix potion or something. Again, that's incredible, my nigga. You should be a billionaire already. What are you doing? Why are you still in the hood, bro? This nigga on drugs or something. <laughs> so the monsters are coming to life and they all destroying the city. It's up to this little girl and her grandpa to find Hammerman and rescue everybody. Sure, bro. We gotta find Stanley. Don't forget Stanley. We gotta find Hammerman. They find Stanley and spray him back to a real person or whatever the hell is happening. This stupid ass motherfucker finally goes to get his magical shoes from the gym. You should have bended that. Your ass is useless without the shoes. Why'd you even take them off? It's about time. It's about hammer time. Hammer Man proceeds to fucking obliterate all the monsters effortlessly while Can't Touch This plays in the background. This nigga literally just doing whatever he wants. His powers are so crazy and vague, like he can turn into a tornado. He turns the monsters into music notes and they just disappear without a trace. Holy shit, this nigga's insanely powerful, bro. I'm glad he's on our side. The basically Marmeister dumbass captures this little girl, but she draws a white police officer on the wall and he comes to life and saves the day. 90s niggas, please. What is wrong with y'all even? Who's responsible for this? What is happening right now? I'm a genius! Yeah, but I'm an artist. Hey! Yeah! You better 
to lock me up because otherwise you did. How does she know he wouldn't just turn into a damn monster like all the other graffiti that came to life? Either way, thank God for this white police officer, y'all. He's the real hero. This little girl should get locked up too. She been doing graffiti all day, officer. Also, Hammerman, he's like a vigilante or something. You should whoop this nigga ass. You know, Gramps, maybe this superhero stuff could work out. Now nah, you're talking. Yeah, Hammerman can help me help kids. So next time you feel like doing a little artwork, do it on some paper, not on somebody else's property. And who knows, you might end up drawing on a cartoon like Hammerman one day. This nigga tried to put a message at the end, like he care about the damn kids. Nigga, you don't care about no motherfucking kids, man. If you did, the show wouldn't be like this. It would have been better. It would have been competently made at the very least. Also, the girl doing graffiti on the wall is actually what saved the day in the end. What is even your message? Nah, shout out to MC Hammer. I get it, bro. Get your bag. I'm not mad at it. They actually got ending credits in this bitch? That's who I'm really mad at. How is it this many people worked on the show and it's still so bad? It looks unfinished. It's legit like a low tier Newgrounds video. This is hands down the worst animation I've ever seen. Get the fuck out of here, Hammer Man. Kid and Play had a cartoon called Kid and Play. I did not know about this shit either. This one aired in 1990 on NBC. Just like Hammer Man, it went for 13 episodes, then got canceled as shit. Also, just like Hammer Man, each episode starts off with a half ass live action segment. This show is nowhere near as cheap looking as Hammer Man, though. I'll give him that. I mean, it's still pretty cheap. These niggas filmed this shit in a parking lot. Oh, look at this place, man. Your place looks like a mess, that's what it looked like. Remember when you had those bright eyes about that club yo yo? You gonna do a whole lot against me for the rest of my life? Yes. Bro, that shit was extra loud for no reason. I don't even get the joke. Was that a joke? Yeah, maybe they'll explain it later. This theme song is a lot better than Hammerman 2. Of course this show is better than Hammerman. Everything I ever watched is better than Hammerman. It's not saying anything. They turn into cartoons now, and Kid is in this high-tech surveillance van now. He's with his homies Herbie and Jazzy, voiced by Black All-Stars Tommy Davidson and Marty Mart Lawrence. Last time you asked Marika out, they tossed you 10 seconds sooner. They're spying on some girls or solving mysteries or something. I don't even know what's happening. I can't hear anything. The audio is so bad. They got a silly dog with them. They driving around in a van, so it's like a fake ass Scooby-Doo possibly. I don't know. They did not give a single fuck about this dog, by the way. They treat this dog so badly. It's borderline animal abuse. The guy she dates are all honest to me. In other words, they're big oh, success. <laughs> yo, where? Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Yo, I'm just oh, playing my right. tune. This is goddamn Giancarlo Esposito. No, they do not have a fake ass bugging out. That's not even the same universe. Was this a crossover episode? That's kind of fire, actually. Now, this nigga name is DJ Wiz. He's actually based on Kid and Play's real life DJ named DJ Wiz. Looks nothing like this nigga at all. Also, they got Martin voicing this nigga too, doing this high pitched, stupid ass clown voice. I'd be mad as shit if I was DJ Wiz. Like, you trying to be funny, bro? But for practice, I use my pretend equipment, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to Yeah, me too. So you think if you believe it, you can make everyone believe it too? It's all in your mind. Hey, that pretend stuff is cool, Wiz. They have some fun imagination time in the park. They learn how to do imagination for the first time. Bruh, how old are these niggas supposed to be? I legit can't even tell. Why y'all not in school and shit? Y'all driving around solving mysteries? I thought these niggas was grown ups. Okay, they in school now. Was all this before school then? 
So they are kids and they rappers also. They got a big gig coming up at Club Yo-Yo, I think. Again with the loud ass music. I legit can't hear anything. Play my man, I just read the news. We're gonna perform the night of Yo-Yo. Well, we went through it. Everybody's gonna know about this. Turns out Play was just pretending they had a gig at the club so they can be popular. He was using his imagination powers for evil. That's not right, bro. Niggas should've never taught you about imagination. So do they solve mysteries or what? What the hell is up with this high-tech ass surveillance van? Wait, what is that for? Whatever, bro. So Kid and DJ Wiz go all around the world posting flyers about their performance. They have an obligatory musical number now, of course. You gotta pad that runtime. Maximum height, rock the mic, dance and moves that all the ladies like. Stay in school and watch a pocket girl cause that's the way to make it today. Then the next day of school, Play finally comes clean about lying. I think I can't hear anything. I'm not trolling. I didn't do this. It really sounds like this. See, everyone knows about a kid's night yo yo. It's just too bad though. What's too bad now? Too bad we really don't have a kid tonight yo yo. Yeah, it is too bad we. What? And there's something I've decided to ask you to do for me. I'll tell you now. The answer is yes. Girls, Play's gonna let us be back up dancers for their performance at yo yo. Why you say that, funny? I heard him say we could. I like how they made the dark skinned girl extra aggressive and the light skinned one is the sweet one. That's what I'm talking about, 90s niggas. See what type of shit y'all was on? There are some old ass bullies constantly hating on Kid and Play, just like in the house party movies. It's funny, these bullies are only slightly more cartoony than the damn movie bullies. Kid and Play is gonna be appearing at Yo Yo's tonight, eh? Yeah! Kid and play gone, then maybe yo yo's will be looking for a new rap group tonight. Kid and play's new plan is to pretend like Club Yo Yo is closed, then they find some abandoned building and pretend like it's a new club they just bought. Everybody falls for this stupid shit, and they have such a good performance, they destroy the whole building. All right, play, help them with this one, man. Everybody survives and Play learns his lesson about telling lies, bars. This shit was made by Marvel Productions, by the way. It's the same animation team that did the 90s Spider-Man and Incredible Hulk cartoons. Ken and Play are technically in the Avengers, right? I'm sure that's how it works, right? Throw Hammerman ass in there too. Bro is strong as shit. He could definitely beat up Superman and Thanos at the same time. This nigga OP. Like, he can literally open up a portal to hell. It don't get much stronger than that. Luckily, nobody got hurt. Things worked out. Look, it pays to tell the truth. You guys doing in front of this phone dump? We were gonna be uh, uh, doing some remodeling. Yeah, we we're gonna remodel it. Turn it into something big, like a, a luxury condominium. Yeah, I guess it does pay to tell the truth. I mean, it could be, cool. it could be big. Kids shows today are so stupid. I miss the 90s when every single cartoon was good. We grew up with straight classics like Hammerman, Kid and Play. Y'all kids got, we y'all even be watching now. Motherfucking, what you call them? We not the same, bro. Nah, these shows were unwatchable legitimately. Nobody asked for any of this. No wonder 90s kids stayed outside all day. Nobody trying to watch these weak ass cartoons. This was just some corporation slapping together a cheap kids product and crudely pasting a celebrity's face on it. It feels so blatantly soulless. It feels like the IRS presents MC Hammer rap related cartoon show. Imagine if they were still doing this type of shit today. The Adventures of King Vaughn cartoon. That would actually be kind of tough. That's not appropriate for the kids though. Which rapper should get their own kids show? Leave it in the comments. Don't say Diddy. That's it though. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a subscribe. If you already subscribed, you should unsubscribe. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, water. <laughs>